Figma, Penpot, and literally every website. They all use CSS. And today, I'm excited to announce Web Studio's new feature, Paste CSS, furthering our ecosystem compatibility. Now, this common language that's found on literally every website can flow freely into Web Studio. And you're not just pasting it into an HTML embed, rather, it's going to translate into the Web Studio UI. Let's demo this by looking at three different sources. The first one, design tools such as Figma and Penpot. The second, libraries such as open props, which are predefined variables. And the third, dev tools, so we can inspect a website, copy the CSS from there. Let's look at the first source design tools. So I'm in Figma right here and I have these gradients already designed. Well, I can head over to the right panel and copy these. I can also right click and copy as code and get CSS for a more complete picture. But if I'm just grabbing one color here, go over to Web Studio, click plus and paste in your CSS here. You can paste in many different styles, hit enter, and then it's automatically going to translate to the UI. It'll also still show in the advanced panel showing that's where where you added it, but here it's in the UI, allowing you to further customize it. And the same holds true for other design tools, such as Penpot. I can go in here and copy this background out and paste it into Web Studio. Penpot also offers the full code inspect, so you can go in here and copy the styles. I'd recommend cherry picking out the individual ones you want to use, though, instead of everything at once. And for now, that's it for design tools. So let's check that off and move on to libraries such as open props. Open props are expertly crafted CSS variables, which we can go in here and get them into Web Studio. Now, this exists in the marketplace, but I used this paste CSS feature to get them in the marketplace. And this is exactly what I've done for my website is I've gone and I've grabbed all the different gradients out from here and I'm going to paste them into my code editor. Now, I find it a little bit easier to work within a custom CSS file rather than the UI for a big library like this, or maybe I already have it defined and I want to tweak it before fully importing it. So what I did was I went back over to Figma and I copied the different gradients I had from here and I pasted them into my gradients here. So I'm keeping the same naming conventions, but just changing out my values in my style sheet. And whenever I'm happy with my full design system here, I'm going to copy it out. I'm just going to grab the first two for demonstration purposes, and I'm going to head up to my global route where I can go down to my advanced section and paste these in. And now these variables are available on every page, and actually some of my instances are already referencing them. Now you don't need to manually add each CSS variable at a time. You can define an entire library, either using a third party already established library or your own, copy it and paste it directly into Web Studio. Next, let's talk about dev tools. Sometimes I'll be browsing a website and it'll really stand out. A lot of times it'll be a blog and I find it to be extremely readable and I want to copy some of the things they're doing. For example, this blog is absolutely outstanding. I found it to be incredibly easy to read and I want to borrow some of the things that they're doing. What line height are they using or what's the spacing for their different headers? Well, I can go in here and cherry pick out the different styles I want to copy, grab those, and head over to my blog, and I want to impact, say, all of my H2s, and let's paste in these styles. And now I have that same spacing that I really liked as a reader on my own blog. Now, please respect the source's copyright if you are doing something like this. And that is it for the third area, DevTools. Paste CSS is Web Studio's third source for copy and paste. The first one is Markdown, so you can paste in Markdown and Web Studio will automatically add all the respective components. The second is Webflow, enabling you to copy an entire page or component in Webflow, paste it into Web Studio and for it to translate over. And now this third one, CSS. All of these enable ecosystem compatibility, so you're not locked into one proprietary way of doing things, but you can borrow things from other platforms or build on another platform such as Figma and move it over to Web Studio with more ease. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.